Mark my words, this year Nintendo 83 will not only take home the crown, the championship gold medal for best conference we will see throughout the entire week, but it will be chock filled with new information and release dates for some of the coolest games we will see on the system in its entire lifespan. And sure, maybe that win is just by default since Sony isn't even rocking up this year and Microsoft is, well, Microsoft. <laughs> Now, in having said that, it's still maybe probably going to be disappointing for a lot of people for one very big reason. I do not expect to see any new game announcements this year. Like maybe we'll get some kind of new port announce or indie game or something small that will release that day during the event that we didn't expect, but for the most part, Nintendo are gonna focus on all of these games they told us were coming this year or early next year that they've given us so far like no information on. Like I'm gonna go through these games in detail one by one as I work my way through this video, but let me just remind you quickly what games we have coming very soon that we know very little about. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, Luigi's Mansion 3, Damon X Machina, Astral Chain, Animal Crossing, Where the Hex Bayonetta 3, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, that Game Freak game Town that we know nothing about. In fact, Town is its working title still. And let's go ahead and throw Mario Maker 2 on that list since it comes out very soon. Pokemon Sword and Shield, so that is 10, and if you count Pokemon Sword and Shield separately, which no one does, 11, we'll, we'll just stick with 10. 10 exclusive games that we're expecting from Nintendo, and most of them, like 80% of them, for sure this year. What, what else would they possibly come out with? You know, you only have like 6 months left in the year, you got like 10 games to put out, that's almost 2 big games a month, you're gonna start fighting your own sales at that point. So no, I don't expect any big announcements. Sure, as I said, maybe a couple of small ones. I know E3 just, the, the feeling of E3, it makes you want new. It makes you want new things, not just information on old stuff. That's the exciting thing about E3, but let's not overload things right now. So maybe if I'm right, there will be those out there that will be disappointed in that. However, there is so much cool stuff to look forward to in this E3 event. I mean, we know nothing about Luigi's Mansion 3, essentially. We definitely know nothing about Animal Crossing. And I just want to learn more about some of these titles that we know nothing about, like release dates even. Also, I do have some theories on some pretty cool surprises. So, without further ado, since I feel like this has been the weirdest, longest intro to a video I've ever done, let's just start working down my list of things I expect to see and we should expect to see at E3 this year. Hi, this is me in the future. I'm actually about two days ahead of this guy and I feel really sorry for him because tomorrow he's gonna go and get blood taken and they're gonna take like five vials of the stuff and he's gonna really embarrassingly pass out in the chair and then spend the next three hours of his life throwing up, barely able to speak. Yesterday sucked. <laughs> Actually, my head really hurts and all this yelling is already getting to me, so I'm just gonna power through this really quick. I'm here in the future because I actually have to fix a couple things in this video as I go. You'll see me pop up here and there. And also, I got a phone call this morning on my cell phone from Audible, and they asked me if I could pretty please fit them in a video this month, and I would love to because I love Audible. So if you want to start listening today with a 30-day Audible trial and your first audiobook plus two Audible originals for free, visit Audible audible.com slash beat-em-ups or you can text beat-em-ups to 500 500. Actually, fun fact, not so fun for me, but it helped. Yesterday when I was feeling really sick and my head was spinning, I couldn't actually watch anything on TV or use my phone. So instead, I put on audible. I just actually, I just typed in the word relax and listened to whatever popped up. If any of this sounds good to you, see what I did there, and it really should. Again, make sure you go to www.audible.com forward slash beat-em-ups or text beat-em-ups to 500 500 now if you don't mind my head is honestly killing me so i'm gonna let past me continue from here look at this guy he's got no idea let's get the big bad boy in the room out of the way so we can move on to the games new nintendo switch hardware okay so maybe nintendo isn't announcing any new games this year but something new they can announce 
Nintendo Switch Mini. There has just been so much smoke that up here in this room, I can barely even breathe in regards to a new Switch revision in the miniature form. And where there's smoke, there's typically fire. Now, yeah, Nintendo has previously denied working on projects like this, but that's not something that they haven't done before, where they flat out said, no, we're not working on X thing right now. And then, you know, three months later at E3 or a Direct or something like that, it's like, Oh, yeah, we, we are. They just like to keep their surprises for when they want to unveil them. I mean, I can't blame them for that. So Nintendo will lie through their teeth about stuff like this until they get revealed. But I do expect to see some kind of revision for the Switch at some point because, duh, Nintendo did that a bunch with the 3DS and I just expect to see it with the Switch. Whether it's in the next few weeks, I don't know. But hopefully if they do announce something like this, we'll get the specs, the price, and the release date. Because I'm not in the mood to be screwed around with this E3. I don't want them to just be like, hey, this thing's coming, okay, bye. So yeah, as I said, a couple of surprises I do expect. One is they always have their available now on the eShop moment. No matter if it's a Direct or an E3 conference, I think last time was Fortnite. They did it in a Direct with Blaster Master Zero 2. They always just go, hey, here is something, go download it tonight. Hi, future me again. Wow, that was really loud, I gotta keep it down. <laughs> Uh, about that stealth game drop, yesterday, again, when I started to come to and watch some videos, I watched one of Spawn Wave's predictions on E3, and he said Cadence of Hyrule might be that game getting that stealth drop. Apparently, the release date for it's been shuffling around, people have data mined it, there's no real solid release date, and yeah, you think about it, we have two Zelda games releasing this year, they're gonna wanna space them out. Yeah, I could totally see that being the stealth drop. Indie games are very often the stealth drop, and that is very... Very exciting. And then the other surprise is we're about due for a new Smash character announcement. Honestly, be surprised if we didn't get that. Again, with me expecting not to get too many game announcements, even if they don't rock up with new hardware, a Smash announcement is probably going to be enough to carry the event for most people. Um... I do expect Cuphead to be in Smash. It just, it, it makes too much sense. <laughs> I mean, it's just no holds barred at this point. Reggie himself said during the Game Awards that all these DLC characters are gonna be off the wall crazy, most likely outside of Nintendo characters. And with Cuphead on Switch and the creator of Cuphead going on record and saying he would love to see his characters in Smash, you could have Mugman as an Echo Fighter or just a different skin, really. I think that would be really great. I don't expect to see it, but I do expect to see a new Smash character of some kind. Witcher 3. We talked about this very recently in the last video on my channel, so go and watch that if you want more information on that, and as well as a bunch of other really radical, cool gaming news. Okay, I wouldn't blame you if you didn't watch that video now. <laughs> but we can maybe expect to see this? And, uh, this is the last thing on my maybe pile. Metroid Prime 4. Like, maybe we can expect to see that. Everything else I'm about to talk about is my definitely I expect to see this stuff. But Metroid Prime 4 is a up in the air maybe purely because I feel like if they just ignore it and they don't mention it at all in any way it's just going to be kind of weird and concerning but at the same time obviously it wasn't that long ago just a few months I lose track of the days that they announced that Retro Studios was taking over development and then it was only like a month or two ago that Retro Studios was hiring people to work on the game so I, I mean I very much doubt they have anything to actually show of the game but just like mentioned like maybe an update on the progress like what is happening with Metroid Prime 4 would be good I'm just gonna cut in here hi sorry for the intrusion uh, I completely just spaced on Metroid Prime trilogy I feel like I want to at least mention it but now that they have no idea what's happening with Metroid Prime 4 they have no idea when to release the trilogy which is ready to go and that is my personal theory so I don't think anyone should hold their breath for that trilogy until we know what's happening with the fourth game until Nintendo knows what's happening with the fourth game because at that point they can get a better understanding of when they need to release the trilogy or maybe they'll just release the trilogy but I think they have enough going on right now where they don't need to so holding on to it till it makes better sense makes more sense to me so I don't expect to see it but I would love to see it and of course Pokemon Sword and Shield is getting their own direct before the E3 event so I, I doubt we'll see much more than a little trailer if anything during E3's conference so with all that being said let's just jump right into it shall we Luigi's Mansion 3 I apps we will absolutely finally see something about this game I fully expect that reason being it does have a release 
released window of 2019, and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, we're getting pretty close to the end of that. If it's releasing around September, October, even November, now is the time to give us that release date and you know, tell us about the game. Another game with just a loose 2019 window, Damon X Machina. I know a lot of you are really excited for this one. Personally, I played the demo and thought it was very eh. But either way, when is it releasing? Hopefully we'll find out during this event. Not to mention I wasn't the only one that was kind of disappointed by the way it performed on Switch in that demo. So it would be good if they touched on that, if they talked about improvements or maybe even just showed us more of it, I suppose. Now, Astral Chain, which I am so beyond excited for, is one of those rare Nintendo Switch exclusive games that we actually have a release date for right now. And that's August 30, which for those of you playing at home, yeah, it's pretty soon. And apart from one really, really cool trailer, that's all, that's all we have. And since Nintendo's relationship with Platinum Games is so rock solid right now, I highly expect them to pimp the heck out of that game and really push it in our faces before release. And now is the perfect chance. However, I will say, if you know me, I have this whole thing about once I'm sold on something, I don't want to see too much more of it before I get to play it. I'm ready. Oh, uh, you ready for the big one? Animal Crossing. <laughs> this one is like... You never know with Nintendo. You never know if they're actually going to talk about something they need to talk about. Remember when they didn't talk about Nintendo's online service until like the day beforehand? It's like they just refuse to give information sometimes. So with any of these things, as much as I expect to see them because they should be there and we need to know more about these games, I would not put it past Nintendo to not even mention Luigi's Mansion throughout the entire event. This is just what Nintendo does. I always say expect the unexpected and even on something as obvious as that we still might not get it but in having said that you have to expect Animal Crossing like it's coming this year we know nothing about this game nothing all we've seen is one trailer that didn't even reflect the game as a whole it was just an announcement and I swear if all they give is like one like cinematic trailer with a tiny bit of gameplay spliced in and then, and then maybe a release date like I mean I guess that's something but it's it's not enough Bayonetta 3 for me is like the same boat as Metroid Prime, except this one hasn't been cancelled and they've been working on it this entire time, so it has to be almost ready at this point. I don't need the plot. I don't need the story. I honestly, I'd love to see the gameplay because I'm excited, but I don't even need that. All I need right now from Bayonetta 3 is a release window. For a game this big, it's, it's really just been swept under the rug for the most part and not talked about. I think we should all expect to see more of the Link's Awakening remake. I'm not sure in what context. I don't think any of us really need to see anymore. We just need to be told that elusive release date that Nintendo hates to give on all their games apparently. But it is a brand new-ish Zelda game, so there's no way they're not gonna shove it in our faces as much as possible, and I'm completely okay with that. Speaking of a game that needs more information, Town is- that's not even its name, it's a working title. We know so little about this new Game Freak game that we don't even know its name. <laughs> Everything- I feel like I'm a broken record in this video. Every time I, you know, talk about one of these games we expect, it's, hey, when's the release date? Can you show us any of the game? Like, there's no room for anything else, Nintendo. And it's 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 exciting in its own way. Like I love it. And it's crazy to me that a game that's releasing in 2019 doesn't even have a title halfway through the year. What the heck? It kind of reminds me of Monster Hunter stories, but like spliced in with Pokemon. I don't know because they haven't showed me anything. So Game Freak, ah, uh, maybe at least give us a name. I kind of like Town to be honest. I wouldn't complain if they just stuck with that. Might be more information on Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. I don't really know how I feel about that game at this point. I was excited at the concept initially, but now it just feels like it's been so like I wish it was or I wish it had come out already with the really light release schedule that the Switch has had at the first half of the year it would have made sense for this game to come out in the last couple months obviously not if it wasn't ready but it would have filled a gap at a time when it was needed and most of these games coming out this year it's kind of hard to look at that release schedule with all these really cool games and then go Marvel Ultimate Alliance somewhere in there I guess I'll get that too also would have capitalized on the hype around the Endgame movie, which, you know, released like a month ago at this point, which maybe that's why I'm already feeling kind of burnt out and over the concept of Marvel heroes. 
Maybe, I don't know. And then I'm sure we'll get a whole montage of a bunch of other stuff. Maybe some of the games I talked about today will find their way in this montage, but we'll probably get a bunch of really cool Nindy games either in a montage or in their own montage, or I'm sure there'll be a couple of really big ones they'll want to focus on since games like, you know, Dead Cells and Cuphead and all of that, they do really well for the system. And that is definitely a highlight for me. I love my indies and I get just as excited for those announcements as I do the big ones. Either way, it's all gonna be non-stop. It's all gonna be crazy, even if they don't announce a single new IP or single new game other than maybe a port or two, it is still gonna be non-stop brand new information and release dates and just really cool stuff to get excited for. And we're gonna end up walking away, hopefully, if they do this right, with a bunch of new information on a bunch of games we're really excited for. Again, like Animal Crossing, Luigi's Mansion, and blah, 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 blah. That's why it's such a weird position, but it's really cool. Like Nintendo blew their load on announcing all all of these games with just, you know, title cards and really nothing announcements years early. It kind of put them in this position where now, where these games are actually getting into close proximity, they can't announce anything. They've already blew their load. They already announced it all. And here they are just kind of scrambling to give us all information on it. And again, that might be disappointing. That might suck because it might feel like we don't get any really fresh new news on video games that are coming to Switch. But at the same time, it's a really cool position where they have these 8, 9, 10 exclusive Switch games that we're going to be getting all this information that we know nothing about at once and it's all for the next six months. Like, okay, maybe the last six months on Switch has been pretty slow. We've had to deal with a lot of, you know, ports and stuff like that, which have been fun and tied us over. But as far as big releases, we've been really waiting for this last six months. And now here Nintendo is with all these games with all this information to go, hey, next six months on Switch are gonna be pretty insane, so get your wallets ready. Let me know what you expect from Nintendo this year at E3. Let me know what you thought of this video, and also let me know by liking it, here, flipping all over the subscribe button. Click or tap on this video right here if you wanna watch more Nintendo Switch news. I talk about The Witcher 3 coming to Switch in that video, as well as a bunch of other stuff. And with all that said, everyone should go to Twitter, follow me while you're there, but type in RGT. Before you go to the doctor tomorrow, eat a donut or something. Can't hear me. He'll love that.